Hey guys, Mr. Beetlebum here, and uh, if you look up there, you're going to see a tank is blue. Now, how did he get blue? Was it an accident? Nah. This is a pretty funny event, and uh, I'm making this video because I want to know what you guys think. I want you to tell me who's wrong and who's right in this situation. We're going to show you the video. We're going to explain the pros and cons. And Mr. Beetlebum's going to be devil's advocate in this situation. So sit back, watch the video, and then in the comments below, let me know what you think. Who is right? Who is wrong? All right, guys, here we are. Uh, this is another replay that uh, a friend of mine, Sierra, off of the EU, sent me in. Uh, he was platooning with his uh, friend in the KV-2R, and there was a platoon of the CS-4040C right in front there and the AMX-1357F, plus who you don't see right now is a P-43. Uh, he, the P-43 is going to the main road there, where all the lights tend to until they die off. And you'll notice that the AMX 1357F, he's going up to the observatory, and there's a little area there behind there. Now, the Scorpion is a blue player, meaning, you know, really good player. And I think the Scorpion's like, you know what? You know what? You shouldn't be there. You should be out spotting and scouting, and, you know, I should be able to sit there and snipe. Um, and that's where the conflict comes in, uh, you know, who's right here. Because watch what happens. The Scorpion, the good player, comes up and... What can I say? He pushes him off. The AMX 1357 was not shooting. He was sitting there passively, and he wasn't shooting. Okay, so that's one thing that we need to know. Uh, so we know that the Scorpion's a good blue player, and we know that the Light is, well, he's a green player, he's plenty good, but this guy's, you know, anyways. So now one of his platoon mates come in, the CS44 here, he's like, screw that, man. And then look over here, P43, now, he's, now all three of these platoon mates are in here, and they're all going after the scorpion. I tell you what, man, that, that light got pissed off. Meanwhile, Sierra's like, uh, guys, there's a battle going on here. You know, um, could we maybe just, you know, fight? Look at this. All the look at bam, smash, boom, crash, wham. You're going down, motherfucker. That's what's going on here. This is crazy, man. I can just imagine Sierra, right? He's like, what the fuck? one down and that's one of the platoon mates okay the good guys or are they you know this is why i want you to tell me what you think man uh the scorpions his his part of the argument is going to be well hey man light should be spotting and i should be sniping and the light side of the argument who's now dead is going to be well hey i was passive spotting i wasn't shooting or anything i was doing my job Anyways, there you go, man. The Scorpion is now drowned. The CS44, who was the last one to push him, turns blue. And now you know why he's blue. And the circus continues, guys. I mean, they just go on. And the, and the funny thing is here, uh, I'm going to let it play for a bit. Uh, because again, remember, both these parties think that they're right. And the funny thing is, is that Sierra and the crew actually went ahead and won this game. It was pretty funny. But what I want you to see here, you know, after making you real dizzy, is um, and watch the chat that's right over here, okay? It's going to take a little bit, so bear with me here. I didn't want to do the whole fast forward thing or whatever. So um, the Scorpion now says, please report platoon one. That's the three guys. So again, I guess his side of the argument would be, I'm a TD. I should be allowed to spot. And you are a light. You should be scouting, which I totally agree with. I don't like stat patterns. You know me, Mr. Beetlebum. I hate lights that sit in the back and snipe. But here's the problem. Like I said, I'm, I'm giving you both sides of the story here. The other side, though, says, please report the scorpion. He pushed me into the line of fire. Now, 
Yes, because he wasn't shooting. He wasn't sniping. He was only passively spotting. And he says he got pushed in the line of fire, but then again, he never took any damage. But he did push him out to where the tanks were. No, Scorpion pushed me first, so it's him. Report Scorp. That's what the light tank says. <laughs> And it's just a back and forth for the rest of the way. They're just, you know, you're an asshole. No, you're an asshole. You're an asshole. No, you're an asshole. No, you're an asshole. No, you're an asshole. No, you're an asshole. All the way through, man. And it just keeps going, man. The Scorp shitface will get his due in reports. And I like what Sierra says. You're all bad as each other. <laughs> and actually, see, if I let it play, Sierra actually goes on to say, hey, man, I understand both your sides, but this... You know, I understand you getting upset at the Scorpion for pushing the guy off, but this isn't the way to handle it. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, most people don't listen to that kind of stuff. But Sierra, yet again, stay, uh, way to go for staying calm. Thank you very much for sending me in this hilarious video. I thought it was just absolutely hilarious. Um, and yeah, man, it is what it is. But what I wanna know, what do you guys think? Who's in the wrong here? Is it the TD? Should he have the, you know, first right of uh, the location? Or is it the light tank? The light tank says, hey, I wasn't shooting. I was just up here spotting. You know, was he about to shoot? Was he going to end up sniping and stat padding? We'll never know because the scorpion took him out and pushed him off the ledge to say, hey, man, this is my spot. But should the platoon have gang raped the guy, basically, and pushed him into the water and taken him out of the game? So, is there a party between the, the platoon and the Scorp? Are one of these guys right? Are they both wrong? This is what I want to know. I've given you all the information. I've shown you the facts. I want to hear from you guys. You guys get to tell me who's right. All right? So, that's it for this one. And I look forward to bringing out another video for you tomorrow. I've already got it got ready to rock and roll. And uh, until the next time, guys, I'm Mr. Beetlebum. I'm out.